Hi gang, this is my gravity light, version 2. It now runs for around 12 minutes, providing this continuous bright light, perfect for reading. And it also gives off a lot more light than version 1 did. In this video I'll show you how I made it, including the enhancements. Briefly, here's how it works. As these masses fall, they pull on the chain, which turns this sprocket, and in turn this bicycle wheel. The wheel acts like a pulley, turning a belt, which turns a smaller pulley, which is connected to a generator in here. Electricity from there travels to this small circuit and onto these LEDs. Here's how it's made. First, there's this nearly 8 foot tall pole made of two very big diameter dowels. They're kept centered relative to each other using a smaller dowel and then strapped one on top of the other using aluminum flashing and a bunch of hose clamps. A sturdy adjustable base holds the pole up. It's very important to have this strong straight pole and base, otherwise it leans over like version 1 did. That causes the chain to slip off the sprockets. The gravity light itself is this portable unit. It simply slips over the pole and sits on a hose clamp. The belt is made of this bungee cord whose ends are sewn together and then covered in black vinyl electrical tape. The pulley up here is just a pulley bought from a hardware store and covered in black vinyl tape, also for added friction. But I later found that over long use, the tape didn't stay. And as long as I had the vinyl tape on the belt, tape on the pulley wasn't necessary. Inside here are some bearings. The generator that's in here came from a microwave oven. It was the motor that makes the turntable turn in the oven. The whole thing is called the generator assembly, and the steps to making it are fully detailed in my video about making version 1. I pointed out that there's a circuit up here that's connected to the output of the generator. And here's a circuit on the table for testing purposes. And here's the circuit diagram. Basically, the output of the generator is AC. These shot key diodes produce a full wave bridge rectifier to turn that AC into DC. And this capacitor smooths it out and also stores energy for when the pulley is slowed or stopped. My older Gravity Light version 1 used these LEDs, but in comments to my video for that version, it was suggested that I try more efficient 10 watt LEDs, like these five, which I bought on eBay. I do a bunch of testing to see how many I should use. I even try them in parallel. I get the most light using three connected in series, the positive of one connected to the negative of the next. The LEDs are diodes, and they don't turn on until there's around 24 volts across them. Since they're connected in series, that's 8 volts across each. They draw around 2.7 milliamps of current. Before figuring out how to mount them, I let them be powered by the gravity light for 11 minutes and keep feeling the backs to see how hot they get. They kept cool the whole time. To hold the light, I dug out this lamp which was sitting in storage. To mount the LEDs in the lamp, I start with this CFL light base I previously cut out from an old compact fluorescent light bulb for a jewel feed project. I cut a piece of perf board and solder the three LEDs on it in series. The wires inside the light base are steel, or something I can't solder to, so I crimp a butt connector for one. For the other, all I can do is bring the wire outside and solder it there. After drilling some holes in the light base, I use some wires to attach the perf board to the base. I screw my homemade LED light bulb in place. Finally, to mount the lamp, I drilled an extra hole here. It's held in place using a bent piece of clothes hanger wire, pushed two through other holes I drilled in the lamp's base. The result is very adjustable. Since the LEDs are just screwed into the lamp like a normal light bulb, the wires already connect through the lamp to the plug. So I simply connect to the plug. And when I turn the wheel, and once the capacitor voltage high enough, the LEDs turn on. And that's my gravity light, version 2. I've been asked for details on making the stand and its base, so I put the details on my webpage here. Well, thanks for watching! See my YouTube channel, Rimstar.org, for more interesting videos like this. That includes the one about using a jewel thief to power a compact fluorescent light bulb, another on how to do cooling using a Pelche module, and one on making a solar panel out of transistors that powers a calculator. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, leave a question or comment below. See you soon!